And good morning, everyone, from Quartzsite, Arizona this morning, drinking out of my old school Mickey Steamboat Mickey coffee cup here. Got my pizza ears on, a Disney shirt, a Walt Disney uh, hoodie here. <laughs> this was not my idea, but uh, <laughs> uh, Christmas time, Disney go hand in hand. And uh, I, I wasn't going to go to Disney, but... My friend Diana, in the bus behind me, brought it up and said, I want to go do Disney. I think she said it exactly like that. And I was like, fine, we'll go do Disney. <laughs> so we're going to head down there and uh, go back to that Harbor RV Anaheim resort there, walking distance to the parks, and uh, go see Mickey for Christmas. And you guys get to come along with me. We're going to take a little break from uh, the desert here. I will be uploading this video with some connected internet later after we get everything settled and uh, you can check out the video description below for links to get high-speed mobile on the road or off-grid internet. Let's go. Oh, oh boy. And we're off, guys. Disneyland bound. So happy. It's like a... See, I didn't get to go to Disneyland as a kid from Washington State. We went one time when I was 12. But now that I'm an adult and I don't have kids, just cats, it's like I get to do everything and nobody can tell me I can't have another cheesy pretzel or another Dole Whip. <laughs> it's like my adult revolt at, at doing everything I want to do. And I love it. I love the freedom and flexibility of being a nomad too. And Diana hasn't done a Disney Christmas, so this will be fun having a friend at Disney. I'm excited. We got a ways to go though. It says three and a half hours by car to get to Anaheim. We got to go through all of California basically straight across. So we got some driving to do. Uh, but before we cross that imaginary line into California, we're going to take the last exit here in Arizona, exit one, Ehrenberg. And we're going to get gas. We're going to get as much gas into our RVs as we can to save money. Three thirty-five dollars a gallon here at Flying J. Five cent off discount will make it three thirty. dollars The first gas station in California in Blythe, five forty-nine dollars a gallon. More than $2 a gallon more in California. Uh, there's no way out of it. We're going all the way to Los Angeles, well, Anaheim. So... Either way, in the end, I'm going to have to get some gas on the way back, but I can be selective on where I get my gas. All right, we're going over the Colorado River, California state line, 213 miles away from Anaheim. But before we do anything, inspection station on the interstate for California to make sure that I'm safe enough for them. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to read that sign. Sure, yeah. It says trucks to the left, cars, buses, pickups, and RVs. Let's see what they want to talk about. Maybe she's lonely. Maybe I can get her number. Hey there. Any fruits, vegetables, or plants anywhere? No, no. Have a good day. Have a good day. Nope, no vegetables. No decorations for me. Welcome to California. There aren't too many reasons why I would go to California anymore, but the, you know, the Disney park is just a couple hours away. Compare that to Disney World in Florida, 24 hour drive one way. So I'm a West Coast guy at heart. And so uh, Disneyland, it is. Well, we survived California traffic. Diana and I are uh, here at Anaheim Harbor RV Resort, the one I was at uh, for October when we did some Halloween stuff here. Just walk right to the parks. And uh, we got two spots next to each other. They are $55 a night. So pretty much just parking spots. But you got a little bit of room between each RV. And uh, I did bring Black Betty, my Harley, parked across the way, all locked up. So uh, Diana's never done uh, Christmas at the Disney parks, 
It's been a while since I've done Disneyland version. I, I've done Florida plenty of times, but uh, we got tickets for both parks with Genie Plus Genie spot. So you can skip the line at some attractions. And uh, the parks are open 8 to, I think, 10 or 8 to midnight, maybe even. There's no events going on. So uh, we're going to tidy up here, get the kitties comfortable, probably go hit the pool first, and then we'll be walking down to uh, downtown Disney to check things out down there. Beautiful sunshine here in California. All right, let's go check out the pool status. And... First one's here. First one's here. Ah. Thank you, Anaheim, for the heated pool. That's going to feel real nice. They did tell me up at the office that uh, the other park that closed down for COVID, the one I like, Mickey's Backyard, they uh, they did file for bankruptcy and no one has repur uh, like repurchased the land or has any plans to reopen that one. So Anaheim Harbor RV Resort is still the closest to the Disney parks within walking distance even. So that's awesome. Ah, everything is walking from here on out. I'm not even going to take the bike out of the trailer for these three days. And uh, I'm going to be sharing it with you. I'm going to be hanging out with Diana, and she might be vlogging over on her channel, Blossoms Road Life, so you can check that out. I'll put a link below in the video description for her channel also to get her take on all the Christmas festivities. And uh, looking forward to it, guys. It's going to be a good Christmas. All right, we're going to be heading to downtown Disney pretty soon. Diana's over here enjoying the pool, the heated pool. What do you think? I love it. That, tell, tell everybody how, how it went. You came up to my camp, totally unexpected, and what did you say? And then I argued and argued and argued for like a second, and then I said yes, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> so we're gonna Disneyland. we're doing Disneyland for Christmas. It's gonna be fun. Yay. Thanks for hanging out with me. Yay. It is really cold when we get out, so I got my towel. I'm gonna dry off, go take, go take a shower, and then we're gonna go find something to eat and go check out what's going on. I'm excited. It doesn't really feel like Christmas because it's so warm and sunny, but uh, once we see all the decorations and everything going on in the parks, it's gonna feel real. Finally, yeah, definitely. All right, we're gonna walk to the parks right now. The sun is just setting behind us. There's Shakey's behind me, that pizza place I tried last time, real good pizza. But yeah, let's go check out Downtown Disney. It's not super dark yet, but they do have some lights on here at both parks. DCA Disney California Adventure says Festival of the Holidays lit up. And uh, Disneyland has some blue ice clouds, snowflakes and stuff over there. Looking good though. I like that. But yeah, Disney's uh, 100 Years of Wonder, 100 Years of Mickey Mouse. Uh, we got World of Disney. Might need to go check out and see if there's anything Christmas in here I gotta have. Okay, I found the, the Christmas section here. They change this every single season. There's a new uh, holiday. They got some little mini stockings here. I still never pull the trigger on uh, a Mickey Mouse train set, you know, to go around the Christmas tree. Uh, this is not the more expensive one they usually have. It's a little cheaper here. Actually, they have a couple different ones. They even have this really small scale one here. Huh. And a pirate ship there. All right. Looking at some of their ornaments. I already got one in October, but I might get another one. I like the Pete's Dragon one. There's also a Roger Rabbit there. And uh, the Rescuers. <laughs> they got some cool ones this year. Oh, Aristocats. Man. I get the rose. A lot of cool ones. I got this one in October here. The 60th anniversary of Sword in the Stone. I also have the 55th anniversary version. Uh, they still got some magnets. I don't understand the grape soda, what that has to do with Disney. They got a lot of those. And then they have these for $15. Uh, Minnie Mouse, and then there's a Chip and Dale one down there. That's all I'm seeing in the entire store as far as magnets. I am going to get the Disneyland Resort uh, die-cut magnet to go next to my uh, other one that's on the on the RV. All right, we're in line to check out. Looks like you picked out some stuff. You got some, some Mickey ears. Nice. And a sweater for the night. Awesome. I uh, look at coffee cups, but I found this mug for water or, or barley pop, and it's got all the treats on it, all the stuff I like. That'll be a good way to hide my beer and walk around. <laughs> oh, it's dark outside now. I guess we were in there for a while. Look at all the Christmas lights. 
Awesome. Oh yeah, all that Christmas. Soak it in. I'm feeling it now. Well then, it is snowing in Anaheim. Kind of. It's fake snow. But it is snowing. That's a lot of snow, actually. A lot of snow. Pretty cool. Well, take what you can get, right? Well, we're gonna try something new I haven't had here yet. Tortilla Joe's Mexican restaurant. Oh, I see some Christmas decorations in here. Nice. Alright, drinks have arrived. I got the mango cilantro margarita in a really cool glass there. And Diana, what'd you get? Mango coconut, right? No, coconut pineapple margarita. Pineapple, that's right. Oh, so good. I like your ears. Thanks. We're hanging out with uh, Diana's Diana's boys here. Hey guys, say hi. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, we got some food orders in. I'm gonna try this right now. Ooh, stronger than I was thinking. Tasty though. Why is mine bigger than yours? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I went with chicken and beef enchiladas and beans and rice. It looks uh, awesome. Diana's getting her YouTube selfie picture there. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, let's eat up. Big old burrito. Really good food. It's still kind of snowing. I don't know if you can see the flakes in the air. A little bit of, we're gonna finish up the tour here and uh, see what we can find. There comes that monorail. I love it. It's all Mickey. All the different happy Mickeys. How about that? Going into the Disneyland Resort. Awesome. Wait a minute. There's something in this Lego store that I have never noticed before. Make your own mini figure factory. You can create a character and then they will, I guess, give you the pieces to make your character? That's awesome. That is actually really cool. All right, so far it looks exactly like me, bald. So we can look through all of this. <laughs> okay, sailor. Oh, here we go. I don't really wear suspenders, but um, let's see what else we got in here. Maybe I should just wear a normal shirt. That way it looks most like me. Hmm, wait, go back here. Oh, like Indiana Jones? Oh, I gotta find one. I gotta find one. All right, we're looking at accessories now. I'm trying to find something that fits. Is that a camera? <laughs> it's a camera. Like I'm like I'm vlogging. I actually like that. I'm gonna get rid of it so I can see the rest of it. But I like the camera. I might come back to the camera. Yeah, that's gonna be the closest one. We're gonna do the camera. We're gonna go over to the text here. All right, I added nomadic fanatic underneath the camera. We need a hat. We need a hat. All right, that's it for now. They're gonna make my figure with this guy right here, I guess, and then we go to the accessories over there. All right, so over here in this machine here, they're printing off what well, looks like about 12 different ones at once, building all the ones that people have made. I picked out some accessories. I got my smiley face, I've got my pants, I'm gonna have a Santa hat because I'm getting it at Christmas, and I picked a slingshot. All right, there's the finished product there. <laughs> <laughs> it looks just like me. It's hard to see the camera and Nomadic Fanatic on my shirt, but it is there. All right, one more stop. We're gonna go check out the gingerbread house at the Disney Grand Californian here. Wow, fancy. We got live music in here. And we got a monster Christmas tree here in the lobby. Behind it, I think, is the gingerbread house. Let's go find it. Oh yeah, there it is. The giant gingerbread house. Let's see if we can get closer. All right, now we're up close with the gingerbread house. It's seven feet tall, 12 feet wide, and 700 pounds. It says there's 25 hidden Mickeys in here too. Let me find one. I found a hidden Mickey in red right there. Pretty cool. They don't, they don't got a whole lot on the Florida version, but uh, at least they got something, right? Oh, cool. There's even a backside here where you can see some other stuff. Looks like Chippendale left some stuff for Santa there. Nice. All right, they're still bringing stuff out. Lots of gingerbread to purchase. I want a, like a gingerbread looking cookie. Oh, they're Mickey gingerbread cookies. Yes, they are. Look at that. It already looks like it tastes good. Actually, I'm going to open them up, bite his head off. I haven't had gingerbread in 
probably two years since I've had Joe. Oop, just broke his head off. Sorry, Mickey. That's so good. And coffee. Mm. It's spot. Christmas is in full swing here, that's for sure. Gonna head back to the RV and check in on those kitties, though. All right, we're back to Anaheim Harbor Resort. Oh, there's my RV. I almost couldn't tell. <laughs> ah, it's a bummer I don't have all my Christmas lights with me. But, um, yeah, I got the underglow on. I got the interior lights on. Of course, we got the battery-operated wreath here. I'm ready for Christmas. It makes me feel good. Got the Christmas tree and the leg lamp. Looks like we got Tara Bear in the window. Hey, Tara. <laughs> Kitties probably want a little treat here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to... Go hang out with the kitties, reset, charge up all my camera batteries, and uh, reset for the parks coming up. That's cool.